Here's an interesting problem that I've uh, hit with the uh, APM2. Andreas has uh, hit it as well, and uh, he's got a, a pretty nice workaround, but I'd like to figure out exactly what uh, the problem is and get, and get a longer term fix. We can see the problem if we go and hook up the battery. Everything seems to initialize. We get uh, the APM uh, initializing as soon as uh, we can. We can uh, arm. And now, oops, where did it go again? Arm it. And you'll see there's one, two, three motors going just fine. And this motor is not uh, going at all. If you twist, you can feel that there's some resistance. So there's some kind of electricity uh, being pumped through the circuit. But it seems like the ESC is just in a bad state. Once it, once it gets into this state, you can't uh, reboot uh, you know, the APM or anything like that to get it out of this state. Now, Andreas... Uh, found a really nice worker. I don't know what he how he thought of this, but it was it's pretty smart. So we can start off with an unpowered board and then we'll take another ESC and so there's an ESC attached to a little battery and then we'll just uh, plug that into one of the output pins. And what that'll do is that will give the board a chance to boot up without power going through uh, the ESCs. And then once it looks like the board has been booted up, what Andreas called jump started, we can apply the power here. And you'll hear all of the uh, all of the motors and ESCs did the usual thing. So now here we can arm. And you can see one, two, three. And that fourth motor, which wasn't turning at all, you can see is now uh, turning. And uh, from here on out, everything will work as expected until the next time the battery is unplugged. Anyways, Andreas came up with a really nice uh, solution that I wanted to share. And if in case you're having the same problem, and then hopefully some, uh, some long-term solution can be uh, figured out.